So this is my 2014 Toyota Sienna XLE all-wheel drive. My favorite car, the favorite car I've ever owned. I love this thing. It's a family hauler. We've taken it cross-country up and down the west coast. Multiple trips to Yosemite, Tahoe. Just love this thing. It's an absolute workhorse. And the kids really just love taking this on long road trips. Uh, one of the projects I'm looking to do is to make it a little bit more comfortable for those road trips for my kids and to think of a way to put some entertainment options in the car. So I did look on the internet for other options. There's definitely those aftermarket overhead entertainment systems or behind the headrest systems. Uh, but I want to come up with something different. This is um, just a tray that slides in the back and I'm just thinking of a way where I could build some type of mount around it. So here is the 23 inch Samsung that I'm planning to use and I want to mount and I just propped it up there just to get some ideas. I usually have it set up on a cardboard box or something uh, not the safest so I want to build something better. So I started brainstorming and just brought some pieces of 2x4 I had left over to just think about how I would do this. Um, there's this center pull, center pull out console that I have to work around so I definitely wanted the monitor or the TV to go hang above it. So I took out some of my supplies, got the miter saw and screws and a couple of drills, tape measure and started getting to work. So here's some spare scrap pieces of wood I picked up. I believe these are 2 by 6s and I'm just going to use them at the sides of uh, the center console that slides in and out. So these will be kind of the base for what I'm putting together. So just cutting them to size and measuring. So I'm just trying to get clean edges here using the miter saw. And I'm now getting the piece that's going to go in front of the slide out console. So this will be screwed between these two, the two 2x4. Two so this is a 2x6, so this is a 2x4. And just cutting it to length. And I'll share the measurements if you happen to have the same minivan as I do. Just giving this another trim. So now that I have the three pieces, I'm going to screw them together with uh, some construction screws, three inch construction screws, and just lining them up. What I did was I did dry fit it in the car used a pencil to kind of mark them because the minivan is not a flat floor and so there's a little bit of bump and lift in certain areas so the best way I could work around it was to just bring the pieces into the car and then pencil mark where they should connect uh, as they're flush to the floor. So just putting in some screws. And to start out with, I just did one screw on each side and I come back later and I reinforce it because I'm really just trying to dry fit everything at this point. And so here it is, I'm gonna take it to the minivan. Just make sure everything works. And slides right there and kind of wraps around the center console. And so I wanted to make it so that I could slide the center console uh, up and down or in and out. 
without bumping into the structure that's going to hold the TV. So now what I'm doing here is I'm going to cut the pieces that are going to be upright. And so I believe I went with 25 inches on each side. And this will give me enough height to clear. So once I mount the TV, it'll be above the center console so I can slide it in and out. And I'm just fitting it here, uh, making sure I screw it into the right spot of the base. And again, just using, I believe I continue to use uh, three inch construction screws. As you can see, these are scrap pieces are two by four or two by sixes. So later on after this, I will sand it down and I will actually give it a paint job. So just making sure that I'm marking my spots so that I screw in these uprights at the right position. And again, just using single screws until I'm done dry fitting. Now here's the block that I intended to run across at the top and then I would mount the TV to this. Uh, later on <laughs> I end up having to change this out because it was too thick for the screws that I have for mounting to the TV. But I'm gonna go dry fit it anyway and make sure everything seems to fit. And it's looking pretty good and that's just the right height for where I want to mount the TV. So I grabbed the TV, it's a 23 inch Samsung. This is when I put in the M4 mounting screws. I did have to go to Home Depot to get those and get the right length and size. And I realized that the two by or the two by six that I was using as the mounting piece was too thick. Uh, my screws were not long enough to get through one and a half inches and into the TV. So I did find a spare piece of plywood that I had sitting around the house, and I'm going to cut this down to size. I picked up this guide for about 18 bucks at Harbor Freight. I've always wanted one. I was thinking about building myself one, but it was so cheap. I was like, this is simple. Let me just pick it up. So just grab my circular saw, cut, cut it to width. Um, and then uh, I'm going to basically size it up so that I can now use this piece and I had to change the design so originally the mounting piece that was the 2x6 was screwed between the two sides, 2x4s two, two on the sides. Um, now I'm going to actually have this plywood be on the front of those 2x4s. So now I've got to remove that 2x6 mounting piece. Take that out. Had a little bit of trouble here. So now I just am marking where those vest mount holes need to be. So I traced the whole pattern on a piece of paper, centered it, and just taking a screw and marking those spots so I can drill those holes for the screws to go through and then mount the TV right onto this board. So now I'm just coming back with my drill and first starting out with smaller drill holes and then I come back with a larger size drill bit and make those a little bit bigger.
These are the M4 screws and washers that I'm going to use to connect the TV to this board. And I'm just dry fitting it, make sure the holes are lined up, that I can get the screws into the VESA mount screws on the back of the TV. And here's the back view. So I got it nice and secure. I didn't tighten it too much. And here's the front view. And you can see there's two by fours that I added to the very front to give it more stability. So this way, the TV doesn't rock back and, uh, back and forth or side to side. And those additional two by four pieces go right inside where the chairs would be. So there's enough room for the chairs to slide up and down. And the other thing is these chairs in the Sienna come are lounge chairs. So they have ottomans that pop up. And I've got enough clearance here for those ottomans to be fully up and not hit the television. So my kids really like that feature. Here's the view from the third row. So if we have more kids in the third row, they could have some good visibility. Here I'm going to give everything a nice sanding before I go ahead and put a coat of paint on this just to give it a better, cleaner look. And yeah, because these are scrap pieces of wood, there's some bumpy edges and I don't want anyone to get scratched. And I really tried to sand down the corners so there's no sharp edges anywhere on this structure or this portable mount. Came back with a hand sander just to get a little bit more work done, smooth some of the hard to reach places out. And I'm just taking a wet rag, wiping down, trying to get as much of the sawdust off as I can before I start putting on the paint. And I found some spare sample paint that I had lying around. It's kind of a off-white gray. So just put a coat on. Some areas I put two coats. Here's the finished uh, product after letting it dry. And I'm going to go ahead and now mount the TV again and dry fit it. Uh, after the paint job, the holes that I created for the screws to go through to mount it um, they did get filled up a, a little bit with paint, so I'm going to take my drill, make those holes a little bit bigger, so I have some space to work with. With the screws, I don't have to be as precise. And then, uh, because it created some a little bit of a mess. I'm going back with a chisel and just cleaning up those holes on both sides. And here I'm going to mount the TV again and I'm going to bring it to the car. Here is the power cable so I can easily access all the connections on the back. The mount is high enough that it doesn't interfere with any of that. I'm going to pre-plug in the HDMI cord, so I don't have to reach for that later. Just wrap that around so I can carry it to the car. And here I am bringing it into the car. It's a little heavy, a little awkward, but I definitely have enough space to just bring it in as a whole piece. And just kind of sort out the cables here. I'll probably come back and figure out a way to do some better cable management. Uh, just showing you what I have the HDMI cable connected to. That is an iPhone adapter, which is what we like to do. And here's a power cord. So we like to download movies on our iPhones 
from Netflix or Disney and then connect it. And then here's my DeWalt cigarette lighter to AC adapter. And this is what we use to power the television. And I usually plug that into the driver's uh, driver side. Here's it turned on so you can see it's looking for a signal. And here's my kids getting ready to enjoy the new TV with the mount. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.